Once upon a time, I made superheroes. Not Superman or some shit like that. No big blue Boy Scouts with laser vision and bulletproof. My superhero had long blonde hair and tie-dye shirts. Never carried guns, never got the girl, subverting all the plot devices I was too young to know, and that was okay. There was a hero who saved animals, a hero who befriended the kids at lunch, and a hero who played piano, and I was eight years too young to know how to write stories, but I had notebooks at them. I was learning to fly. Eventually, my heroes got bigger, badder, more important. Batman broke walls with his fists, but my heroes broke gender barriers with their hearts. More and more, I tried to become my heroes. My computer burst under the weight of the Word documents that were a gateway to my soul, a gateway to me. Then one day, my heroes changed. My heroes, my spandex-clad gods, carried swords. Literal crusaders, the keepers of cliché. Eight years ago, my heroes used words as weapons. Now they use weapons in place of words. I had forgotten to fly because I was walking everywhere I needed and doing a damn fine job. Which is all fine and good, except it's the antithesis of what heroes are. These heroes are me, and if they can't use words, what am I? This isn't a poem, it's a plea. This isn't a poem, it's a cry for help. My heroes are meeting their kryptonite, and it's time for me to preach to you. Save them. Don't lose your heroes. Keep your creativity. It's not too late. Not for me, not for you. Keep them alive. We need them. Because if you, if you learn to be your heroes, eventually you learn to fly.